I'm here to tell the story of uh, who killed the gorilla gardens. Uh, it's, uh, it's less, uh, less about bloodshed and more about uh, blood, sweat and tears. Uh, less about uh, who done it and more about where they done it. Uh, I guess uh, I guess the story began on uh, a cold uh, fall day. Uh, we were doing a hike the geek, with, uh, where basically a bunch of us meet more or less once a month to do. We go walking around Toronto uh, with our cameras, uh, and we uh, we just take pictures. It's not really that hikey. It's not really that geeky, uh, but uh, but we have technology, so that ticks that box. Uh, basically, uh, last month, uh, it was presented to us that we do a tour of the Gorilla Gardens. Uh, so we were like, oh, hell yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. Uh, one, it's, it's, it's a bit green. Uh, two, uh, of course, these uh, opportunities are a chance to make new friends. Uh, it's good, wholesome fun. And of course, you know, it was Gorilla. It was a little bit underground. It kind of sounded illegal. Uh, so, uh, Gorilla Gardening, what is it? Um, well, basically, uh, you know, there are a bunch of people in, in different cities is that uh, I suppose take charge of these bits of wasteland and they just plant stuff. Um, it's uh, it's totally voluntary. Uh, they uh, the group in Toronto is about 50 people, eight to 15 volunteers who do the plantings. Uh, seeds are donated uh, to the group. Uh, most of the activity happens over the summer period. Um, they do their scheming uh, in March. Uh, they make seed bombs, which sound fantastic. I haven't done them in about April. Um, and then I think they just sleep a lot in the winter. Uh, so uh, last month, this was the tour of the Gorilla Gardens that we did. Uh, so we started off at Hack Lab. We kind of went along College Street, uh, grabbed some lunch along Young Street, uh, kind of went down along Parliament, visited a sex shop kind of further south, and uh, then went back. This is, this is kind of how we started the tour. Um, to be honest, the, the first photo of the actual Gorilla Garden isn't much to show. It's kind of like a dirt patch on a corner. Um, but we saw this just next to it, and I was like, like, cool, it's a sort of decapitated doll part. Uh, like, how, how awesome is that? Um, and then we went along to the next sort of set of coordinates and we found, look, this, this beautiful patch of dirt here with a big parking sign. So this sparked the conversation, you know, Dude, what's what's happening with these gorilla gardens? Where are they? Who killed them? Uh, why? Why? Why is there this? Where's the garden? This isn't a garden, um, or this isn't my definition of a garden. Uh, so, but anyway, we it was a tour, so there were more gorilla gardens on our route. Uh, so we continued to meander along College Street. I believe this is the library, which was shut, but we managed to get this beautiful group shot with this very random man at the side reading a book, um, tr wondering what the hell we were doing. Um, so you'll see uh, quite a few pictures of us just look, basically looking lost and looking looking around. Um, at one point in the group, uh, nobody noticed, but I had actually disappeared down an alleyway. Um, I was kind of, uh, you know, I, I'm a little bit spacey on these kind of tours. And look at, you know, I'm fairly new to Toronto. I've been here about six months. Um, and I just, I just go off looking for things. I'm not particularly interested in people telling me stuff. I'm just like, oh, that looks cool. And there was this graffiti, um, lots of cool graffiti around Toronto. But, um, you know, this is, this is the kind of stuff we do. We wander around and go, hmm, a lot. Uh, which is exactly what we were doing here. Uh, this is university and college. There is supposed to be a garden here. Um, but but, it, but it, we couldn't see anything. So this is a picture of uh, Eric, Vivian, Anita uh, looking confused. This is, where is the garden? Uh, this is apparently where it should have been. Um, basically, it's a construction site. Uh, condos, yay. Uh, so I took pictures of gates and locks and signs. Um, you know, just I basically felt a bit Scooby-Doo, I suppose, at this point. Um, and just kind of felt super cool just photographing it. Uh, this was the next garden on Young Street. Uh, again, it's, it's a bit more of a garden. We've got flowers and everything here. Um, much to the amusement, I think, of passers-by who saw me wandering around on this stretch of dirt taking photos. Um, so again, you know, it's, I think our, um, you know, our hopes, we, I think uh, we're managing our expectations at this point. We had actually seen something vaguely garden-esque. Uh, this is actually at Ryerson University. This isn't actually part of the tour. Um, we were just curious. Um, and we, we, I suppose, hike the geek and uh, gorilla gardeners are by nature very curious people. Um, so as we were wandering through Ryerson uh, University, we saw this kind of garden with uh, vegetables and herbs in it. Um, this, is, this was the best um, gorilla garden that we could find. This is actually on uh, Parliament Street.
Street and uh, Das Street East, I think, if I remember by names correctly. Uh, it's frigging awesome, just loads of flowers. Basically, uh, the gorilla part of it was a small strip, and the local community had taken it over and really developed it. Um, and then this is kind of just random stuff that we did. So we found another community garden that actually wasn't a gorilla one, but still pretty awesome. Sex shop did a bit of posing. You know these great mannequins outside. Why wouldn't you? Um, and then um, this was just looking through gates, uh, just taking pictures of things that looked like they were hidden. Um, so anyway, I haven't answered my own question, which was who killed the gorilla gardens. Um, this was my uh, first contact with gorilla gardens. Didn't know anything about them before. I called up the the coordinator, and she was basically like, "Well, it's partly due to condo development that uh, Toronto is a very transitional city, uh, constantly changing landscape. But it's also that we need people to look after these gardens. To, we need communities to adopt them." Uh, does it matter? Well, I guess it's a green initiative. Uh, it's a chance to make friends. You are doing something for the community, but it's also a skill. I think uh, I think it's an important thing to do. Um, I think it's a very worthy initiative. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. And look, I mean, if we were all guerrilla gardeners, you know, we could uh, we could execute Hunted Vars's vision. I mean, wouldn't it be pretty awesome to have something like this for Toronto? And you have all these flat roofs everywhere. I mean, frankly, why wouldn't you just be seed bombing right, left, and centre? Um, I mean, I, um, you know, I mean, there are examples of roof gardens already in Toronto, so I think we should have more of them. Um, how can you get involved? You know, if I've inspired you already, look, there's a URL: gorillagardens.ca. Go visit it. Uh, there's a mailing list too. Woo! Um, you can, uh, you, of course, you can wait patiently. We're approaching winter. You, know, you can think about it. Uh, start scheming. Um, you can come along in the summer, get your hands dirty, and make seed bombs. Uh, thank you very much.